Puka Nakua, Orem High School senior, football star, and USC recruit. Thank you so much for being part of Three Questions. Thank you for having me. Excited. Now, you just finished your junior year in high school. You just signed on with USC. You were recruited by USC, UCLA, Washington, Nebraska, Arizona, Cal, Vanderbilt, BYU, and Utah. And yes, you sir. chose USC. Yes. How did you get to this point? How did you get here? Um, my mother, definitely my mother and my father, um, and then my siblings. They, everybody in my family has had a huge role in helping me get here. But um, I just, so in the, little, in the recruiting process, um, the, the offers had slowly started to come towards this, actually the, this past spring, kind of with some of the more recent schools, but I had visited the schools I thought were kind of going to be in my top five, and then uh, obviously USC was my, uh, not my final decision with my verbal commitment last Monday. But um, I just felt like it was the right place for me. I'd been to, I went to see Cal earlier that week too, and then I've obviously been able to see BYU and Utah. I didn't get a chance to go visit UCLA, but just um, I just felt like when I was at USC in LA that this was a place for me. I was ready to further my education and start my next football, my next football section. What was it about USC that when you went there and you kind of got the feel of the atmosphere, what was it that said, you know what, this is the place? Um, I don't know. I think uh, just for a, a college football fan, there are the schools that you know, is Alabama, Clemson, Notre Dame, and USC. I feel like those are kind of the first five schools that pop into your head. So obviously the football, the football part was there for me. Uh, just being USC and who it is, and then uh, it was kind of my first chance to get to know more about the, the school and the schooling part because I want to do business, and I know LA is, LA is booming with business, and there's a lot going on all the time, so definitely the chance to know more about uh, the education part and then just to go out there and compete with the best. Uh, USC is, like I said, a big-time program for college football, so I know I'm not going to be the only big time recruit they have, they're going to constantly be pushing me with new recruits every year and it's almost like uh, they're going to look to replace me if I'm not producing so it's, it's going to push me to compete and get better every day. Now you got to work out with some of these teams, did you not? Yes. Tell me what that was like. That must have been surreal. Um, yeah, it was, it was really fun and cool. It's definitely the, the next step to college football is huge. I think uh, there's a, coaches I think that's a huge part of the game that a lot of high school kids don't understand is the whole different mindset and the way things change going into college football about how different you are pushed and how you really are there to play football and then also to get an education but your job is to come play football you have to be willing to go work out at 6 a.m. and then film at 9 and then class at from 1 to 4 and, and it's, it becomes your life and yeah, it was cool. I learned a lot from a lot of the coaches, um, but it was definitely a good experience for me to kind of get a feel how what it's like. And also having my older brothers at Utah and one at BYU. So I've kind of got a little, I feel like I have a little extra steps before everyone else did. Your older brothers, Kai went to BYU. Samson's at Utah right now. Yes. Kai is playing for the Ravens now in the NFL. Was there any kind of an expectation on your family's part that you would pick BYU or Utah? Um, I think a little bit. I mean, Samson still at Utah, so he's definitely still pushing me because uh, nothing is final until I sign the, my letter of intent and decide I'm going to go where I want to go. But uh, he's still pushing me. But Kai, Kai, he definitely gave his little pitch for BYU. But, I mean, he said, all my siblings said, whatever you feel best is for you. That's just make sure you feel like it's the right decision for me and like I said earlier when I was at USC I I felt like it was the best place for me and I told my siblings and my mom and they were like we're excited we're going to support you all the way now so it's I'm excited to kind of start my senior year journey and then into college. Now your older brothers Kai plays for the Baltimore Ravens went to BYU your other older brother Samson plays for the University of Utah he's a wide mm -hmm. receiver growing up in your household 
how did watching your older brothers affect your desire to play, and did they cut you any slack as a little kid? <laughs> uh, no, no, no slack. I didn't, I didn't get any handouts. Uh, my first year of football, I played up three years with Samson. He's three years, he's three years older than me. So my first year, I was, I was Samson's water boy. I was his towel boy. I was his, I was his cheerleader, like pretty much. I, my, my, <laughs> Did you have my, to wear the outfit? No, no, I was, I was in the same uniform as him. <laughs> but uh, my dad was the coach, and Samson was the star of the team. So that, I, I watched him, and like the joy that filled my heart while I was getting pushed on my back by the older kids, and just, just smelling him, like, oh, that was disgusting, and like he just, <laughs> he just pancaking me flat on my back. But then by the time I looked up. Samson was in the end zone, so I, I knew no better than just to cheer for my brother. But they definitely played a huge part in helping me get better and telling me, even to this day, I mean, I just got done working out with Kai this morning, and he was like, just remember, I'll, I'll beat you up any day. You're not, you're not going to be better than me. He's, he's, we were lifting, and we were doing drills, and he was, he was pushing me and bullying me. He's obviously a little bit bigger than me, has more weight, so he still bullies me around. But give me a couple years, I'll, I'll catch up to him. I'll, I'll push him around a little bit. <laughs> Now, you lost your father several years ago, and you mentioned that he was your coach and your other brother's coach mm -hmm. as well. How has that affected you coming through the programs now and accomplishing what you've accomplished so far? Um, it, was, it was huge. It was uh, definitely sudden and had a, it still has a huge impact in my life. But um, I think I'm speaking for all my siblings here. I don't think we could have done anything that we've done without our mother. Uh, she's the, one of the strongest people I know, and she's helped each and every one of us get through hard situations in life without having our father here. But she's, she's so strong, and she, she doesn't let us slack off. If there's, if there's anybody that pushes us more, it's definitely our mom. She's always on us, and she's, she's a personal trainer. She's the She's the athletic trainer. She tapes. She makes protein drinks. She she's cooking dinner all the time. She's our she's my driver. I don't have my license right now, so she's kind of my Uber driver. She takes me everywhere. But she's uh, she's been the backbone of our family ever since my father passed away. And just um, one thing I know I remember from when I was little when my, my father taught me is he taught me to love the game before I ever got good at it. I just loved I just loved watching football and just understanding how everything is being set up in order for a perfect play to happen. And that all, I loved the game before I ever I ever had an offer or I was ever good enough to people for people to notice and start to want to watch me play. You not only play football for the Orm Tigers, you also play basketball as well. Which do you prefer and which is easier for you? Um, I would definitely say I prefer football, but I think basketball is a little bit easier. It's not as physical, physically demanding, but I love it. It's relaxing. It's not, it's, it's not relaxing. If you know anything about me or my siblings, we definitely have a little bit of anger in ourselves. I, so. I don't see you relaxing much out there on the basketball floor. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, yeah, it, I think it's a relaxer, but the competitive, the competitive part of my body just doesn't allow me to relax, but... I definitely think basketball is easier. I love playing both, just being competitive, going out there to beat that person out next to you. Is, I think the competitive part of basketball is definitely a little bit more in football, or more than football, because there's only five people. So mm -hmm. your job is and your role is a lot bigger in basketball, I think. But you prefer, prefer football, correct? Yes. Why is that? Uh, I, don't, I just I don't think I had a choice. My 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 family they, they put football on me and I I've loved it ever since. But it's just I don't know. There's a different there's a different feeling. Like when you hit a three, there's that there's that little quick rush. But you score a touchdown. That's not touchdowns aren't scored 30 times in one game. It's, yeah. it, there's a different feeling and the team part of it. That everything everybody that's involved in is definitely a big part of it too. How much of your athletic ability is God given? And how much have you worked hard and trained to get? <laughs> um, that's a good question. I'd say a lot of it is uh, a lot of it has been God-given talent, and blessed with the athletic abilities I do. But as I've been able this last junior year and senior year coming up, um, I've definitely had to work a lot more. At certain, um, I can't just go out and just be athletic because. You go to USC, any, call, any Division One college, you're, everybody's athletic. They got there for a reason. So I think that's the part where I try to 
learn more technique, be more precise, and uh, become smarter at the game of football so I, I can put myself ahead of somebody else who might have the same athletic skills as I do. You've got your senior year in high school to go. Are you distracted at all by knowing what's going to happen after high school, provided you remain healthy and beyond that? Mm -hmm. Or are you able to focus right now on what's in front of you? Um, so before the recruiting process or my senior year came up, I, my kind of in my head, I wanted to make my decision after with the new early signing period and the regular signing period. So I was actually planning on, okay, I'll let the recruitment go in the summer because that's kind of big in spring. But then once August comes or June, July, really, it's all worrying about the Orem football team and getting ready to lead us to state again and have the journey that we have and playing all the big schools that we do. So, And then kind of going out with the schools, especially feeling the way I did at USC, I felt like it'll kind of make it a little bit easier for me to, okay, I have my college set now. I can set that aside and just be all in for our football team. I think that's the biggest thing for me. I just, it, I think it wasn't distraction at one point, kind of not being able to be there at all the team workouts and stuff. But now that it's, it's kind of set away, I've, I've been able to be there at all our team workouts and help everybody out. We're, we're looking really good. I'm excited for season. You know, there are BYU and Utah fans crying that you're not going to either one of those schools. Is USC your final decision? I mean, is there any chance you could change your mind? Um, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, uh, but in my heart, I feel like USC is a place for me. So unless, unless the man upstairs has a different plan for me, and if I if I pray and he says USC is not the place, then it might not be the place. But as of now, I'm I'm committed to USC. You just turned 17 years old. How much of this growing up stuff is fun? And how much of it is no fun at all? Um, I'm trying to think of the fun parts. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, team workouts. Our team workouts are so fun. Everyone, everyone is so loosey goosey, and everyone has their shirts off. Especially, we just barely put our pads on, so it's kind of fun to see. I look back. Uh, I look at our freshmen and sophomore, and just look how kind of goofy they are. <laughs> and it reminds me of my freshman year. It's like I wasn't. I wasn't built, I wasn't ready for it. So it's definitely a process that comes up. But um, the recruiting process I thought was going to be fun. I thought they were going to spoil. They do spoil you. They definitely do blow a little smoke up your butt and kind of, <laughs> um, they, 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 they let you, they let you hear all the good stuff. And, but, uh, but it's definitely, it's definitely not as fun as I thought it was going to be. Always on the phone. Why not? Why not? Um, I, I broke I had broke my phone and then coaches hadn't got been able to get a hold of me so some of the coaches are worried like oh does he not want to talk to us anymore what's going on what did we do wrong so now my Twitter account is being DM'd by all these different coaches They're like hey Pugu, we can't get a hold of you what's up so that's kind of I mean some people might think oh he's just being a little bit of a I don't know, like a celebrity not trying to talk to everybody, but <laughs> it, it, it really is time consuming sometimes is having a lot of coaches, diff especially different coaches trying to talk to you and then having to remember all these coaches names <laughs> when I was on the phone, I'd be like, yes, coach, just, just coach. Cause I couldn't <laughs> yeah, remember his You're name. always safe yeah. that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that way I could never go wrong, but there's this good and bad sides to growing up, but, uh, it's, it's been fun so far. <laughs> I'd What's say. What is the most difficult part of growing up so far for you? Um, getting a job. <laughs> getting a job is, I'd say, the hardest part. It's just trying to manage uh, football. and uh, I'm working on getting my license before senior year. That's kind of important. Your mom will appreciate that, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but... Um, just lots of decisions to make and... Yeah, you and really a, have to... A lot my of pressure. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure. My mom has helped me kind of plan out my schedule, make sure I'm getting things done. And I think that's a huge step in the college, just knowing what I got to do each day and be able to get it done. Um, yeah. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, my first goal is definitely to play in the NFL, just like my older brother, and hopefully Samson will be able to get there. So we kind of start a little family tradition in the NFL. But after that, um, I definitely want to get into coaching, but I want to be able to 
uh, own my own business or eventually be an investor in a business. That's why um, I'm going to major in business at USC. They have a very good business program there. But I kind of want to be my own boss. <laughs> I, all, all through my life, I've had to listen to a lot of people tell me what to do, and I think it's my turn to tell people what to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, Puka Nakua, Orem High School football star, basketball star, and now USC recruit, thank you so much for being part of Three Questions. Yes, thank you, Mr. Evans. <laughs> <It's> Mr. Evans. <laughs>